As I said, we did get collective bargaining, and we did quite well at it for a while. But this song was written in 2002, and it talks about the stripping of our contracts by legislation by Gordon Campbell as Premier and Christy Clark as Minister of Education. With the stripping of our contract and with uh, uh, clauses removed that, that supported learning conditions in schools, teachers realized that the Liberal government did not appreciate their work, effort and sacrifices, and many privately launched their own personal work to rule campaigns. <laughs> the extra that teachers had done for years were quietly dropped. We had given up salary increases to achieve contractual conditions and we felt betrayed. Parents were upset at the loss of evening concerts, coaching, special trips, and other extras that teachers had done on their own time for so many years. We told parents that we had lost the fight for improvements for their children, and we were passing the torch to them. The government, in, in this uh, passing of the Flexibility and Choice Act, said that teachers had too much power over the learning and working conditions of the schools, and that the principals, boards, and governments just had too little. Uh, a collective agreement with vigilant imp implementation, we realize, does give you control over your work life. And that was what we lost in 2002. The last verse of this song, while it was a little optimistic about the timelines, has basically been realized in this last week. Rise to right the wrong, and we take back the power. 